this one. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my studio. Today I want to show you guys an inexpensive way to make indie rock beats in FL Studio or any other music production software that you guys might be using. I know I have a lot of videos on this channel where I show, you know, myself making beats and some of the equipment or the plugins or the software that I'm using. I know sometimes it can be kind of expensive, especially if you're, you know, a producer who's just starting out, uh, just, you know, getting into music production. I know it can be an expensive hobby or career, depending on which way you want to do it. But I want to show you guys that there are ways, you know, especially right now, if you're trying to get into music production, you don't need to break the bank. You can do certain techniques. Uh, and make really good sounding music. I also want to thank a supporter of the channel, Deviant Gray, who commented on one of my videos. Uh, I had a conversation with him and he inspired me to basically produce a lot more content for this channel for you know someone who's just getting into FL Studio or any other music production software. So I really appreciate the support and the idea for this video. In this specific video, I'm going to show you guys a technique that you can use to make uh, indie rock beats using my new sound kit, which just came out. I've been working on it for a bit now and I really tried to, you know, make it as good and affordable as it can be. So basically the sound kit, which I'll show you all through the video, but basically it's a bunch of one shot samples. And what this is, is basically a whole bunch of sounds that I recorded either using, you know, guitars, bass guitars or synthesizers. And it's basically a whole collection of really good sounds all hitting one note. And I'm going to show you guys how you can use these one one note samples to turn them into a whole beat and you don't need to you know purchase hundreds of dollars worth of plugins or equipment or you know all this other stuff if you have just one good sounding note you can do a lot with that so let's dive into FL Studio now I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about okay so I want to show you guys you know what you're gonna see the first time you open the sound kit I'm gonna show you uh, a couple of settings just to make it easier to work with and uh, I'll show you guys how some of them sound and then who knows, we might have fun with some of them and just start making a beat. So when you get the sound kit and you open it, you're gonna notice that there's basically three folders here. And I kind of organized it so it's super simple, but it's basically, I made 15 bass guitar samples, 15 electric guitar samples, and 15 synthesizer samples. All the notes in this sound kit uh, are tuned to C on your keyboard. So it just makes it easier. And I'll show you kind of what that means. But basically, if you listen to them, you're gonna notice that some might sound quiet, some might sound a little bit simple. All of this is intentional and I will explain why that is when I start working with it. But let's dive into the electric guitars folder and just, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's drag and drop one here. So as soon as I drop one, I'm gonna click on this, uh, just click on it to bring up the window. And if you're an FL Studio user, this is one thing that you definitely have to change. If you're in a different program, you might have to look for these settings, but I know that the time stretching in my version of FL Studio at least defaults to resample. Click on that and change it to stretch. And basically, like I was saying earlier, that when I made these samples, I recorded everything at C. Now that I do stretch, when I play any note on my keyboard, it'll make sure it is actually playing that specific note. Uh, so let me show you like so like I said you might notice that some are a little bit quiet they're a little bit maybe bare sounding at the moment this was a hundred percent intentional because I know some producers you know have certain effects they want to add and I didn't want to overload these samples with a bunch of you know reverb or, or other effects like this is stuff that I want to leave up to you guys I just want to give you guys you know the bare bones to to do something amazing with so this one is a little bit quiet i'm going to hit the normalize button here and what that is is it's it's just going to make it a little bit louder a little bit easier to hear and to work with and in fl studio uh, another you know change i kind of suggest doing it depends on exactly what you're going for but there's this knob here and if you change it Sometimes I would change, you know, this attack one, just scrolled in a little bit. Sometimes, you know, these notes, they can sound a little bit harsh. If you want it to sound a little bit quieter, just, you know, play around with this, this attack knob, just drag it out or in a little bit. And honestly, that's it. Once you have those, 
I guess three things in FL Studio set up. You're good to play around with this. I'll show you guys a little bit of the other sounds just because I'm like super proud of this kit and I just have so much fun playing around with it. But once you have these settings up, I know if you drag and drop another sound or hit the, the middle note on your uh, computer mouse, it'll like replace it and keep these settings. So let's play around with some of the other electric guitar sounds. this one like there's definitely a lot of variety in here same goes with some of the synth presets that I have I love that pad sound right there just like it shows you that you don't need like a thousand dollars worth of software because if you have these really good just basic sounds to work with and you add all your own effects and you learn to play around with it that's all you really need to get started but let's dive in and, and make a beat like this just to show you guys how you can actually put these sounds to use and make something you know dope right um so let's start with the indie guitar sample i think i was using this one i think at the beginning <laughs> that melody it's kind of chill it's a little you know indie almost like indie <laughs> pop whatever right that's enough of me talking let's just play around with it so yeah it totally sounds a little bit basic if you add some reverb on to it it's gonna sound good trust me We've got a little bit of delay on it too. Just experiment with the effects on it, but the fact that it's like, like I said, like it's so, it's such a basic note, it gives you the freedom to do whatever. Let's put some bass guitars now. play some uh, synth notes here too. It's got a good groove to it. I'm just gonna go find those, uh, you know, default FL Studio drums and see what they've got because, uh, you know, while on the topic of, uh, you know, not buying all this, you know, software and equipment. Let's find them here. FL Studio defaults. Let's see what the FL Studio even has. It's been so long since I've looked at any of these. It's so much fun to play around with. I know this was just like a super quick beat, but uh, let's just try and do some other electric guitar just to have fun with it. So I think I'm going to wrap up the video there. Um, hopefully this helps you guys. Again, you know, I've got some comments from you guys in the past about, you know, how can I make music that doesn't involve like thousands and thousands of dollars. And I totally get it. And that's why, you know, I wanted to make this specific video, this specific sound kit. And also, you know, I have some other ideas for videos like this because I know what it's like being a, a beginning, you know, music producer, someone who's just starting. I've been through all that before, right? So um, if you guys want to check out the sound kit and get it for yourself, the link will be in the description below. If you make any beats with it, be sure to, you know, tag me and send it to me. I'd love to hear. And again, thank you guys for watching. I'll support. I will see you soon with a new video. Peace.